black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Welcome to uh, Simple Sandwich and a Soup Sunday on actually Super Bowl Sunday, and that begs a question: soup or bowl? This is soup. It's not in a bowl. It's in a pie crust container, cooker, dish, thing. You know what I mean. Anyhow, we continue to eat like a third grader, but uh, it feels like minus 37 where I am today. So, soup and a sandwich, it was. No leaving the house, quick and easy meals, classic meals, delicious meals. One of my favorites. So, I got this Timmy Ho's, Tim Hortons, cream of broccoli, but I jazzed it out. <laughs> okay, I hoodified it a little bit. As you can see, I have a stack of sandwiches, and we'll get into that. But uh, I got cheddar cheese in the middle. I got crispy onions, of course. <laughs> and then I have Tostitos restaurant style crushed up on top for extra crunch. So I got to work some of this in here, just this cheese. I have to get it into a true melt zone. But we don't want to compromise too much of the crunch of everything else, right? But we do need to work in the cheese. So, hope you guys are having a good Sunday. I don't know if you guys celebrate or watch Super Bowl. I know a lot of people do. And to be honest with you, I understand why. Even if you're not a fan of the sport, it creates like a communal night. Kind of just like a comforting family, just night where people come together and they just hang out and chat and kind of watch this thing and you vibe. So, first bite. And it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Did not have crackers on hand. So Tostitos it was. I do have the Super Bowl on in the background while I was making this. Rams are up, I think 14 zip. I'm mainly in it for the halftime show, if I'm honest. I just don't, t this year's lineup is psychotic. Literally all the greats that I grew up on who <laughs> are going to sun and grandfather this new generation on what rap really is. <laughs> okay, boomer. But for real, these people are legendary in a time when lyrics meant something, <laughs> right? Okay, what do we got here? A stack of bologna sandwiches with toasted, not, not crazy toasted, not crazy toasted, little mozzarella cheese, lots of mustard on my favorite German like rye crusty bread. Do we dunk first? Fuck it, we dunk first. Always gotta dunk a simple sando. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Not too toasted, not too crispy. Just the nice little amount of ingredients that's perfect I debated doing three pieces of bologna but I had to keep it at two I don't like my bologna too thick it's also this weird thing like the texture of bologna if it's between toasted things I can take more thickness but if I'm having it on like a soft piece of like Wonder Bread, one slice is all I can handle. Because there's like this 
weird snap to bologna. That it needs a firm bread to hold up against. I usually don't even put cheese. I usually just, like for me, a to piece of toasted bread like this, bologna and mustard is like, it's five star. <laughs> I swear to God. It's the meat equivalent of a toasted tomato sandwich. Three ingredients, but those three ingredients work incredible together. Mustard was made for bologna, in my opinion. I honestly think at this point in my life, I can safely admit that simple sandwiches are better than complex sandwiches. That said, I did get a loaded sub from Subway the other day and it was fucking phenomenal that I went back for another round. Mm -hmm. You heard it right. I was laying, I'm like, I was just craving Subway. Particularly, I wanted a six inch tuna with pickle, onion, and lettuce, and a squirt of mayo. And I wanted that on white. I wanted a six inch loaded veggie, Southwest ranch and heavy sweet onion sauce. Couldn't get the crave off my mind. I was like, I have those coupons. I wonder if they're expired. I go one day left for the expiration. I'm like, I'm going to Subway because it was buy one six inch, get another one for you. So I go, they're out of tuna, bummer. So I get a six inch rotis, chicken loaded up with smoky honey mustard, sweet onion and mayo, and then my loaded veggie, like how I like it. Go home. <laughs> Crush at the end of it I'm like that was amazing so I'm laying there watching I binged out I took a few mental health days recently just to because this winter sucks so bad here right now <clears throat> excuse me and um, I don't know I've just been going through some shit and then I uh, I was like I want a day to binge watch a season of something stupid or whatever, maybe interesting, not think about anything and just eat alone, <laughs> anything that I want kind of thing in a sense. So I started inventing Anna with the chick from Ozark. I was a few episodes in, I got that first subway run, <laughs> ate it, watched one more episode. I was like, I need more. <laughs> I go get my other coupon that's still the same one because I had a duplicate, like I had another one in, in the rack. <laughs> and I go to myself, well, I can't go back to the same one, right? Because A, he might not honor the coupon and B, he's going to be like, what the fuck? Why are you having an another sub? I'm going to drive to an alternative subway. <laughs> 
in the hopes that they had tuna and to use the coupon. So I go there. She's got tuna. I got tuna with another repeat offender of the veggie. Go home, continue to murder the series of Inventing Anna on Netflix. Is it good? I don't know. It was all right. Her accent is extremely annoying. Her character in general is extremely annoying. And it's like modern gossip girl meets law and order. But like tween law and order. Not tween, but I don't know. It has a real cheese feel in a sense. But also with a little bit of Spin City in there. <laughs> right? The journalist working at the magazine. It's whatever. It's the shit that Netflix keeps pumping out. That people just still watch because we're just like, I guess I'll just watch it. I'm in bed. Wasn't terrible though. I stayed the duration. So it could have been that bad. Not as bad as the woman across the street from the other woman in the window or something like that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Kristen Bell. Felt very satire at times. But also extremely serious at other times. But there were definitive moments in the dialogue. In the women across the movie from the other window and the girl dating the guy. Whatever show that's called, it is a movie. There were moments where the dialogue was so blatant and the way they were acting it, it was like them admitting to your face, like, you just watched a semi-serious movie, that's the most stupid thing you've ever seen. That's how it felt. All right. The final countdown with that perfect ooze. I almost put money on the Super Bowl. I was thinking about it. I watch these guys who they kind of decode reality via numerology through like gematria and stuff they try to predict worldly events worldly outcomes outcomes of things like sports and whatnot and uh I'm intrigued to see if the one dude who I think is like really good at it, if his predictions come true, I'll be <laughs> like confirmed. This guy's legit confirmed. And as of right now, it's looking like he predicted the Rams, but he put the, even the score and who's the MVP. So we'll see. I hope that it comes true. It would be cool if it did. Ultimately, I didn't put money down. I just said, fuck it. Just a halftime show will be good enough.
perfect meal. All right. I have subscriber sponsors coming up. I got three in the docket. One is pressing on me right now. You know who you are if you're watching this. Aloha as a tip, as a hint. Uh, it's a fairly elaborate one, so it's going to take a day of devotion of the cooking and the filming and everything. It's just like a longer type video. That's going to take me a good effort. And then I got a couple more simple ones after that, but they'll be coming around the way when they come. They're on the way. Don't, if you're watching, we're all good. I got you. You're, you're, all, you're in the queue. Okay. One last little slurp. And I got to go see if people are performing already because I think it's probably half by now. Okay. So the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Drink water during your meal. Not after because I didn't take one sip and I'm parched. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.